Hi, so today I'll be doing the review of the brand new Nokia 2720 flip phone. Um, it was released this month, October 2019. Um, it's, it's just released this week in the UK, so you can buy it from anywhere. Um, I paid £90 for it, but the seller is selling it for about £100, so just be careful of who you buy it from. And obviously try to get cheap as cheap as cheap as you can. Okay, so this is the box. Comes just like this phone was in here. Okay, I'll show you what was in the box quickly before I get on with the phone. Okay, just just pull that out like that. The phone slides out, which I've already taken out. It's got its own holder, which is good. Um, Pull this out. On the top is the battery, which I've already put into the phone. And then when you pull this out, um, all you've got is the manual, and you've got the charger, and that's it. It doesn't come with the headphones or the sync cable. Okay, on the box. on the box it says Nokia 2720 flip 2.8 inch internal screen 1.3 inch external screen um, extra large buttons with backlit and the buttons feel really nice Google assistant emergency assistant button okay long lasting battery 4G LTE hearing aid compatible 2 megapixel camera with flash which is not good I just told you I don't know why they keep doing 2 megapixels when they should be doing 8 minimum 8 to 10 especially with these phones which are almost £100 ok Wi-Fi, GPS, Bluetooth, FM radio there's no headset with the headsets required sold separately micro SD's card slot um, it's got 4 GB internal storage um, but it goes up to 32 GB with micro SD card um, applications and games Okay, so that's for the box, that's done. Okay, as for the phone, get straight. Now I'm going to show you how to put in the SIM afterwards, near the ending of the video, as soon as I've done this, because I've already got it set up, so there was no point in me doing that. So, yeah, you just open it straight up. The buttons feel really nice. Okay, it is quite strong as well because there's no play in it. You know when you try to wiggle it around, there's no play, so it's nice and solid. That's the maximum for the loudness. I like the way they've done that. <laughs> so if you put it lower, it goes lo smaller, the circle. The ring turns and alerts, do that, it goes high as possible, maximum. Okay. So this is for volume up and down. A nice shiny black. I'm not really too much into the shiny. They should, they should have kept it flat, just like this, but that's just my opinion. Speaker, uh, camera, flash, and um, sync cable and charger cable for that. And that's it. So it's very basic. Um, okay, let's get straight on to it. Okay, this is notices there, and that goes straight to the camera, 2 megapixel camera. Okay, let's go straight through the menu. Now, you've got this sort of menu here, but it says options. You can have um, list view, which is like this, or you can have um, in options you can have grid view or single view. Single is where it just shows each at a time. I prefer the grid view but that's just my opinion. Um, there's 30 icons in total just like in fact it's the same software as the Nokia 800 TOF that I just they put the exact software into it the only difference is this is a flip phone and that was a TOF phone so it's the exact software. Okay call log 
no call history because I've just put it you got all calls missed calls dialed calls uh, received calls get out of that contacts I've got no contest the new sim press and hold to add contacts you can add new contacts settings memory phone and sim sort contacts speed a set speed dial create group block contacts import contacts, export contacts, add account, etc. Okay, let's get out of that. Store. Oh, I'm saying software update. Uh, I'll skip that for now. Okay. UC browser for faster speed, richer content, circle jump, chess, lucky line, car park in 3D, tower of ba Babel, whatever that is, giant rabbit, Jimmy the Finn, world radio, breathe, pet hop, daily jokes, Pomodora, the last battery, and that's it for that. Um, when you do open and start the phone, it, the, it's simple, it just comes on, the phone, the time and date is automatic and then it goes straight to internet and I've, like I did it on the last one, I've um, put it on Wi-Fi, my house Wi-Fi right now, so that's what it's on, so you just connect, put the password and it goes straight, so internet is quite alright as well. Okay, Google Assistant. Okay, what language do you prefer to speak in? Just English, United Kingdom, okay. Okay, understand, allow. Okay, assistants would like to know your location. Hell no. Press that to speak. Uh, okay, so you press this to speak. Um, whatever you want, weather or... Listen, weather. The weird thing is it's got my exact location, Loughborough. <laughs> okay. And it's also got volume as well, so you can up that volume so you could have heard it louder, which is good. That Google Assistant is quite smooth. Okay, press to speak again. Let's just say an actor or something. Bruce Lee. So yeah, it's good, it's fun. I think it's fun, you know, Google says it. I think it comes in handy for people and it's quick as well, it goes straight to it. Okay, YouTube. These are what's up at the moment. And like I said, it's quite speedy. One thing I've noticed, I haven't noticed any lagging on this phone. Normally with flip phones, I don't know why, you get a bit of lagging. So, so far I've not noticed any lagging. Lagging as in, you know when you press buttons, it just doesn't react as quick. But with this, it goes straight, if you can see, up, left. But sometimes you get phones which lag, and I don't really like that. Okay, so that was YouTube, Maps. App permission. Maps would like to know your location, deny it. Well, it already knows anyway, it's Loughborough, and they already know it, so why the hell are they asking? Okay. Search, uh, voice search, show map, your location, directions, help, petrol stations, restaurants, places of worship, uh, stations nearby, map layers, settings. So yeah, it's good. This Google Maps is really good. Okay, Snake. I haven't played this game yet, so let's just see. It's, I bet it's exactly the same as the Nokia 800 Tough, because like I said, it's the same software. Do you want sound? Hell yes.
Okay, so that was for that snake. Okay, WhatsApp. Um, I don't have WhatsApp. Um, WhatsApp is good, obviously. You can connect, message your family and friends. So it's good to have a WhatsApp account. But I haven't signed on or I haven't got any of that. So, do you close the... Yep. Okay, Facebook, same thing. Um, I've got an account, but I'm not going to sign on just for this. Log into it. Mobile number, password, and then log in. Okay, camera. Like I said, it's a crappy... Camera would like to know your location. Why would a camera want to know your location? But anyway, it already knows the location, so whatever it is. So yeah, you've got the camera there, two megapixel camera. Um, and then when you click right button, uh, if you look up there, the icon changes to video recording. So then you can hold it like this and just press record and record for hours and hours. Um, if you depends on the size of the micro SD card you put in. I've only put an 8 GB card, but it goes up to 32 GB where you can record for hours and hours. I suppose that's the only good thing about um, having a really bad camera because you can record it for hours. So if it was high definition, you wouldn't be able to record it for as long. Okay. But like I said, they need to sort themselves out on their megapixel because this is ridiculous. I want to tell you something about the camera. These are all, this is 2 megapixel. Now, I remember the last time Nokia did a camera which was 8 megapixel. And it was on a mobile phone which was in 2012 and 2013. So, 6-7 years later, you would expect them to have be more advanced. Not bloody stick at 2 megapixel. I don't know why they do that. But it's got advantages that it's also got disadvantages. So the advantage is you can take more pictures, more video recording with low um, low um, MP and low um, video recording. Then you can last longer. If it was high definition, it wouldn't last as long. So that's the advantage. Disadvantage is you ain't going to get clear crystal pictures and stuff. But yeah, but they should at least put a 5 to 8 megapixel at least for this price. But yeah, gallery. This is from my micro, uh, micro SD from last time. So whatever pictures you take. Uh, video, um, I've not took any video, but I did on the last one, on the Nokia 800, the tough, and it was grainy, so it's not good video recording, but like I said, you can record for hours and hours with the, if you put a big uh, micro SD card, okay, messages, new messages, press new to start communicating, click on new, to whatever number, then go down and write the message. Press OK to speak in text field. OK to speak. I think I did this last time, but it didn't work. So what does this mean? If you press OK, you can speak. Hi, please subscribe. No, it didn't work. So I don't understand what that is. Maybe I'm missing something. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think there is a way. I just haven't bothered checking. I know there's a way. There must be a way if it does that. You you should be able to speak and it types it in for you. But otherwise, it wouldn't give you the option. Okay, Google. This is just normal Google. Just put whatever you want in the search engine. Uh, whatever you want Tesco let's say if it's on T go straight to Tesco whatever but yeah it's just Google itself just normal Google but it's all right it's not it's not fast I mean it's not too fast but it is fast it's not slow or anything browser just ordinary web browser uh, you've got Google Facebook Twitter which takes you directly or you can choose whatever you want in the search email you've got clock Okay, on the clock here, you've got um, alarms. No alarms have been set. Press new alarm to get. You've got the time. You've got repeat. The alarm sound. You've got different sounds for the alarm. Alarm name.
Okay, so under the clock, you've got alarm, then you've got timer, which is good. Uh, hour, minute, and second, and set whatever you want. Stopwatch, which is good. If you're doing exercise or something, or even in the timer for exercise, if you're trying to do certain things in a certain amount of time, or cooking food or something, you need a timer, which is good. Okay, that's the clock. Twitter. Twitter would be the same thing. Sign in. Join today or sign up or log in. Okay, music. Scanning for music. Artist, album. Um, I've just got the previous from my old thing. And the same thing, if you hold it right, it goes faster. Or if you hold it left, it rises. Okay, FM radio. I've already tried this radio. <coughs> it's very good. Um, it picks up real um, good, clear sound near your local radio stations. Okay, the settings. Okay, you've got connect, uh, network and connectivity. You've got airplane mode on or off. Mobile data, uh, mobile network and data. You've got Wi-Fi on or off, Bluetooth on or off. You've got geolocation on or off, call, call waiting, call ID, uh, call forwarding, call barring, fixed number uh, dialing numbers, off or on, and that's it for that. Then you've got VO Wi-Fi, you've got internet sharing, you've got wireless emergency alerts, cell broadcast messages, Okay, and then when you move that, you've got personalization. To move from the icon, you just go left or right. So left, it goes back to network connected. The next one, you click right on here, and it goes to personalization, then privacy and security. So I'm on personalization right now. Sound. Okay, volume is on high at the moment. You've got media, ringtones, alarm. I'll put that on high. So media, ringtones, alarm on the volume. Okay, the tones. Okay, it's got vibrate and on and off, ringtones, Nokia tune at the moment, let's check what they've got. It's nice and loud. I like that one, electronic. Okay, notice alerts. Um, manage tones, system ringtones, my ringtones, notice alerts. You can also change the whatever you want, whatever you've got on your phone or your if you upload different sounds you can put it on 
Okay, so that's for that. Let's get it out of there. Okay, back to settings. So we had network and connectivity, personalization, privacy and security we're on right now. Screen lock, SIM security, app permissions, do not track, browsing privacy or privacy, whatever. About KAIOS and screen lock again. Back to that. Okay, file manager internal or SD card so internal is what's built into the phone you can click on and get go through all the audio music photos books whatever videos but since I put the SD card just gives you the option as well to go through the SD card which is all of the D um, images and everything else videos and whatever photos and recordings and whatever okay let's get out of that okay calendar Okay, it is the Monday, the 28th of October today. Note, just if you want to put any notes or anything. Okay, get out of there. Calculator. Um, simple basic calculator again. Uh, three, if you want to put three, three. Uh, then if you want to times it, click that one, times 3 equals 99, I think. Yeah, that's it, job done. So that's just an example. Okay, recorder. Click for selecting the recorder. Audio recorder, new. Okay, new recorder. In order to record, you've got to press this and start recording. So I'll speak right now. Hi, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Done. Save new recording. You put name it as whatever. I'll just name it as A. Save. So to select to listen to that again. Press play again. Hi, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Okay, did you notice that? Hi, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Okay, did you notice it? It is loud, but it cracks a little. So it's not crystal clear. But that's one thing about Nokia. It's very loud, but it's never crystal clear. Also, talking with people is very good, but it's not crystal clear. So it's loud, you can hear them, but it's not crystal clear. Okay. Let's get out of that. Um unit converter, area, length, speed, temperature, volume, weight, area is square meters to square feet, etc. Length, square meter to feet or meter to feet, speed, kilometers per hour or kilometers or miles, miles per hour, temperature, Celsius, Fahrenheit, Volume, weight, grams to ounces, and that's it. Okay, danger data. Okay, these are the three games. I'm just going to play it quickly as possible. Taking some time loading. Play demo.
Okay, that's for that. Get out of that. Okay, real football. Play demo. Play demo. Let's get out of that. Siberian strike. <sighs> Buy the gameplay demo. Okay, that's for that. Okay, that's it. Now let's get the hell out of here. Whew, that's 30 icons. Pretty tiring to get through all that, but yeah. Um, let's just show you the speaker, loudspeaker, call it. Put on loudspeaker. Welcome to EE. -E. Your current balance is zero. Okay. To top up, press one. For packs, info on free boost, or to get extra data minutes and text to use in the UK or abroad, press 2. To report your phone as lost or stolen, or for technical support, press 3. And for sales and upgrades, pack codes, or home and mobile broadband, press 4. So it's okay. Um, and talking with people is good, you can hear them, so there's no problem there. All I meant was it's just not crystal clear, you're not going to get that with Nokia. Um, unless you get high-end phone, but even high-end phone nowadays are just not as good as the older phones But I don't know why they're just trying to cut back on money and a lot of things, but yeah, so that's the total review um, It's a lovely phone. It does feel good. Um, can you see there's no play at all? It might have that millimeter play that one mil but that's just possibly something that's needed otherwise it'd be too stiff but yeah but yeah other than that it's a really nice phone okay I'm just going to turn it off you've got lock, clean up memory, restart or power off I'll power off right now um, okay so what I'm going to do now I'm going to show you how to take the sim out and everything so yeah it's quite easy on this phone and this back does come off quite easy unless if you've cut your nails mine is a little long so you push it push it in there and just pull it out there so it's not that hard to get off the back okay so now you've got the battery pull that out okay the sim card okay the micro SD card is just there so that just slots in boom there like that 
okay now if you look here on the sim I think this is a nano sim or micro sim one of those it's the smallest sim you get if you look here um, in order to open it you've got to pull this right so if you, when you pull it no 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 sorry you pull it back because I've already pulled it right so you pull it back there it clicks and then what happens it goes loose like this there so that's how you put it in so it's like this and it locks in like this there that's how it comes in order to open it you just left slide it a little there that unhooks itself like this you put the sim in carefully like that you close this and you lock it right that's it and that's how it goes in simple as that this is just a this is not a dual sim this model but yeah so there it is mate that's everything Okay. Okay, so there it is. The new Nokia 2720 Flip 2019 version. Okay. I give it um an 8 out of 10. Um, it is nice to have a flip phone nowadays. Um, everyone's always about the smartphones and things. So yeah, it's good to have a flip phone. And it's good for Nokia to do a flip phone. I just wish they put more effort into the camera. And a few other things maybe. Camera, video recording and stuff. But like I said, there's benefits and dis uh, there's advantages and disadvantages. The advantage is you can record for longer if it's less quality. But if it's too much high quality, you can record for less. So you've got benefits and you've not got benefits. So yeah. Um, I paid $89.99 for it today. Um, it's People are selling for $110, $120. So just, I wouldn't pay more than £90 for it. That's exactly what it's going for at the moment. Um, it's already available in the UK this week, as of this week. Um, and that's about it. Overall, it's a good phone. Um, would I use it? No, I wouldn't. My phone, I actually use is this one. <coughs> I know I'm not normally into smartphones, but this is my phone. Um, it's the Moto X first generation. I just like it. It's just a great phone because it's got such crystal clear um, phone quality. It's unbelievable. The only thing I hate about these phones, the batteries only last about two, three days. And you've got to keep charging it. But yeah, this is my favorite phone. I love this. And the um, camera quality is excellent. So it's just good for emergency use and stuff like that. So that's the only reason I, I have this phone mainly for the crystal clear quality phone and uh, the calls and the ringtones and everything and also for emergency it can take crystal clear pictures and video recording and it's excellent that's why I love this phone but yeah so anyway hope you like the review um, I'll leave the specifications below um, please like the video and subscribe to my channel I should be reviewing the Nokia 220 2019 next but I don't know when it's available that's another thing with Nokia you don't know when they're gonna release it so that sort of pisses me off so yeah anyway thank you very much for watching thanks